Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in this video is really part one of a mold making video series that I wanted to work on. I've always wanted to do molds, and I decided I'm going to give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to design an object in Fusion 360, and one of my other great loves is Doctor Who. And I used to have a cool Doctor Who medallion that I bought somewhere. So I thought, let's make one of those. So I'm going to head over to Fusion 360 and model it, and then I'm actually going to send it off to get printed so it's super smooth for the uh, actual molding process. And we'll look at that as well. I'm going to send it to Shapeways. Never done that before. So let's go ahead and head over to Fusion and then go through the process. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Fusion 360, and this is a free program. If you're a student, I believe, or faculty member, and I think you can get it anyway. I think it's just uh, a free application. Off the top of my head, I'm blanking. I downloaded it so long ago. And, and I'm not going to walk you through how I built the whole thing because I think, you know, A, it takes me a while to do these things because I'm just learning. But you can see that it's really just a, a bunch of shapes. So you've got the, the main piece, the T-bar across, and then all these little separate shapes in here, plus some extruded holes in the back for the, sort of the constellation and the hole up top for the chain. And that's it. And then it's ready to go. Now, what you would usually do at this point is you would uh, say send to printer or print. It would open it up in Mesh Mixer. That's what I use. And then you'd export it as an STL. For this, though, I'm actually going to send it off to Shapeways because I want a really, really smooth um, model for the mold. Okay, so what I did was I created an account and I uploaded the file. And you just choose, like, is it jewelry? Is it whatever it is? And it takes a few seconds here to uh, upload. So I'm going to skip through some of these parts because it has to upload it, then it has to sort of analyze it. So let's get to the final screen where you're making your choices. Okay, so here it is uploaded. This took a good amount of time, actually, maybe like three or four minutes. And now you've got all these choices you can make, whether you want it to be metal or industrial plastic or aluminum. I'm just going to go with the smoothest, finest detail plastic print they have because I'm just going to be molding this. But you could get aluminum. Uh, it's like I, It was fun watching the price hike uh, to go to the different metals. Uh, I was a little surprised because um, I've seen people selling these a little cheaper than this. But uh, we're going to just work on molding them. So, I mean, you can look at these prices are really, really, they sort of jump up. Although 30 bucks, 40 bucks for a, a nice necklace is pretty cool. But let's see in gold. Whoa. <laughs> let's make a solid gold one. And let's see. Wait, this has got to be even more. Platinum. Look at that. <laughs> I think we're just going to go ahead and go with the super fine detail and uh, see how that works out for us. So that's it. You just pick super fine detail or whichever one you want, send it off, and uh, it says it's got a lot of traffic. And at some point, it went ahead and went through, and I was able to order it. Well, okay. Uh, this came in from Shapeways rather quickly. Uh, I think it was total, after I reset a few things, it came to $10, which is fine. Um, because I don't have to sand it and get into little creases and crevices. Um, and this guy is like glass smooth. Um, it is crazy smooth. And all the detail is there and it is just perfect. I cannot wait to mold this. Uh, I'm even going to, of course, first I'm going to try molding it in resin. And then at some point uh, i got to buy some different mold mix. Uh, but I'm going to try molding it in... Uh, metal as well. Uh, Bill Duran over at uh, Punish Props, which is where I'm learning how to do these molds, and over on Tested, um, he's got one where he did it in metal, and I just I want to try that too. So uh, this is a viable option if you don't have an SLA and it's small and there's a lot of detail, and you probably can't get in there to really make the mold look super sharp. Uh, Shapeways for something tiny like this, ten bucks. Uh, I'm super happy and I cannot wait. So what we'll be doing in the next video for this is actually making our first mold. Uh, and I'm really, I'm really psyched to do it. And it'll be a resin mold, and then we'll do a metal mold uh, as the third part. Well, all right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, like the video, subscribe, hit the little bell, go to my Patreon page, all that stuff. And um, I think you can go to Shapeways now and actually buy one of these. Uh, but... 
you know, you don't have to do that because you can go over to my Patreon page and you can get this file over there. So just click on the description below and there it is. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Um, hit the bell so you see ones in the future, uh, especially the ones that have to do with molding this little guy. All right, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.